So every DIYsurfboardkits.com kit comes shipped with a one-to-one -one template which is used for several things. And in this video, we're going to go over working with the template and just what it's actually used for. So firstly, paper template is used for defining your deck. So you can trim your deck to size without needing to worry about having your frame fully built. Secondly, it gives you the positions of your fin hardware and takes all of the guesswork out of how and where to position your fins for the optimum ride. So what we're working on here is our 511 fish. And if you have a look at the template below, you can see that we've got everything marked on here that's important. So we've got our fin positions for our uh, fusion style fin box. We've got our cutouts for our deck and we've got our frame outline and our, our rail outline. Now, another thing that our template does is it gives us a position in which we should be mounting our rails because you'll remember when we glue rails on these don't terminate here they try and be straight so what this allows us to do is it gives us a guide for getting the perfect match of our nose and tails now working with the paper template is the next step so here you can see I've got the paper laid out onto a deck skin which I glued up using the methods outlined in our working with thin stock video and I've got the paper laid out so that I have the center line, which is where the apex of the peaks are on the center seam of our glue up here. That means that we should have a nice straight grain pattern on our board. Now, once you're happy with the placement of your template, you can come in and you can trace the outline. Now, usually I would do this with just chalk, but it's pretty hard to see on camera. So I'm now doing it with this permanent marker but this is just so you can see it in the video. Okay, so that is now the outline. An optional step, which is a really good thing to get into the habit for, is just scribing your center line using something like this. So this here is a chalk line, and essentially you just hook one end over where you've got your center mark, pull it out, like this. Here's our other center mark. Just pull it and that marks a chalk line on your board. So now when we lay our frame over here, we just line up that center spine to our blue mark and we know that our seam is going to be nice and straight to our surfboard. Once you have your outline marked, then you can come in with a jigsaw and just cut out to that line. Okay, so that's the first function of our one-to-one -one paper templates. Now, now, the second function comes in a little bit later in this build, but we're going to jump forward a little bit and move on. So where we're jumping forward to is where the frame has been glued onto the bottom deck using a rocker table. So the other thing that the frame does is it tells us where to position solid wooden blocks inside of our structure here so that when we install our fin plugs and vent plugs and all that sort of stuff, we're not going into a hollow void, but rather into a nice solid block of wood. Now, the function of the template is when we lay it over, like so, we can see where the fin plugs go. So this is one fin plug, here is another. Now this is the fish, so it's only got the two side fins, but if you had a thruster, it would show the, the center fin position as well. So we can see from our guide here that we're essentially needing to fill in this area on both sides with a solid block of wood. Now we wanna be sure that we get a nice clean uh, reference surface all around. So if you've got any squeeze out, you can come in with a sharp chisel or a, a razor blade, and we can just kind of peel away all of the squeeze out in that area so that we can lay a block in here with good glue coverage and not have any air gaps or voids. So now that we know where our fin positions are, we can actually fill in the areas with solid wood. And we recommend just using the offcuts from your skins and just stacking them as many times as you need. So for a Fusion FCS style plug like this, you need three or four layers thick, including the skin. So that'd be two or three additional layers. Uh, for fin boxes, like the 10 and a half inch or whatever, uh, you would actually lay these up on edge and glue them against the center spine. 
And that is the sort of fit that we're looking for. So we've got three pieces stacked together. That gives us basically another six millimeters of safety. Plus, if you see where this line is, we've got about an extra inch of safety material there as well. So from here, we just uh, glue these in place and move on to doing the top deck. Okay, so that's the two main purposes of our paper templates. Now there are further steps that it is used in. However, that comes on a lot later in the build and it will be the focus of other methods throughout the build. So that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you click the thumbs up button and leave a comment below. And also click that subscribe button so you stay up to date with all of our future Holocore wooden surfboard building tips and tricks style videos. If you're interested in getting a DIY surfboard kit like one of our ones here, head over to diysurfboardkits.com.au and check out our range because we sell the most comprehensive surfboard kits out there. Thanks guys, see you next time.